Good morning everyone, Mohammad Arshad from Decoding Data Science. Today I am going to talk about the overview of Power BI course in the Decoding Data Science Academy. I have been using visualization for around 15 years. I started with ClickView, Tableau and Power BI around 5 years back and it just started. People who are using Excel, companies who are using the Microsoft Suite are very much used to the Microsoft Suite, right? The Office, Outlook, Excel, Access, SharePoint, right? And many companies are using Excel and uh, they were using dashboards and integrating it with ClickSense and Power BI what has happened that power bi is very much coming up with new features that has really improved once i started using it five years back there were very limited features tableau was very user friendly and you could do much more customization quickly and the look and feel of tableau was much better but power bi really picked up in the recent years it has become a very good option. It is very quick to integrate it with Microsoft Excel and the accesses the SQL Server 2000, the refreshes. If you put the file on OneDrive and you update the file immediately, automatically the refresh will happen in Power BI. So because of all these things, I feel Power BI has much more better future compared to the other tools that are there in the market right there is uh, one more that i have not talked about is google data studios companies who are using uh, google suite they are also preferring data studio but as you know uh, the smes and the little big companies who are using microsoft right because many of you are looking for a job and companies who are even SMBs and or bigger they will have Microsoft Office and any reports that they are doing they will prefer to do in Power BI. One of the major advantages of Power BI that I forgot to tell is it is free right and that is one of the most important things that is very uh, important. Companies don't need to pay any additional and uh, th uh, money to get Power BI and start doing reports, sharing it across teams. And that is one of the great advantage of Power BI. I am not in this video telling that don't Tableau is bad or ClickSense is bad or Data Studio is bad. My only uh, aim at, for, uh, for this particular video is why on, uh, I am focusing on Power BI for my data analyst learning path is because of these important features, right? It is, as you can see, people who are using Excel, right? It is very much user friendly. This is, there are mainly two things in Power BI. One is the Power BI that I showed you and other is the uh, Power Query that is there. So if I just open any dashboard that is there, just quickly i'll open it so there is a power uh, bi uh, interface and there is a power query wherein we are going to uh, let me just open my quickly if it is there yeah so this is the thing about power bi it is very quickly it is an basically i can say an extension of microsoft excel okay and uh, this is the particular dashboard quick dashboard it may not be so beautiful and then there is the same thing the data that is there this is a power query right and you can see it is very similar to microsoft excel so many of you uh, might have already done my excel uh, course that is there in the previous uh, uh, in this particular academy uh, if you have a good control of excel if you know excel very well you know how to do functions add columns do some filtration then power query will be a little bit advanced version of that in this particular course, we are not going in the details of uh, DAX programming and M language where we can do custom functions, but we are doing uh, a basic power base so you can get started quickly. You get any data, 
you put it in power query do quick transformations right and then you can do your analysis so how is this particular course is going right we have introduction to power bi where we give the basic uh, how to install what are the different things that are there uh, which will quickly get you started so many of the power bi courses that you find online or on udemy they talk to you about everything in power bi you don't need to be an expert in power bi to start using it for data so this academy is very much focused on job uh, path right you main thing is what is the 20 percent that is very important for you that is going to cover the 80 percent what i tell to my mentees and students are the pareto principle so these are the things you may see it's not the complete list of all the videos are average of 20 minutes and it is going to cover you the things that are very important the data sets that are already there uh, in the with the in the download section uh, and then we are going to talk about why I, I spent time in Power Query. You can see so many things because making a visualization is very simple once you have the correct data ready, right? Most of you don't want to do uh, right now programming and uh, transform the data in Python or SQL. You don't need to do that. Basic transformation that is there can be easily done in the Power BI itself using Power Query. So there are around uh mainly four chapters that are focused on the importance of power query how we are going to append different different data sets because as you know in a real world scenario no data set is given to you as a single uh, data there are maybe weekly reports monthly reports quarterly reports you need to append it manually will take time you can easily use the power of power query to do the uh, to uh, do all the appends right data preparation data cleaning and now the merging part this is very very interesting wherein you can do use different joints and you can easily do the uh, relations that are there and then finally building reports after getting the final data loading it on the power uh, bi dashboard how you can make quick reports beautiful reports with some uh, nice slicer options and advanced formattings as well uh, where you can do custom make your uh, dashboard according to your uh, needs and also there is an option for a QA. like some people who want some business users who are using your reports they want quick answers from the data they may just have a q a option like wherein you can type what were the sales in the last month and it can find out and give it to you then as you know the power bi or dashboards that you create the best feature in power bi what why companies are using it is the sharing and collaboration you make a report you can quickly share it using microsoft office you can put it and in a teams as a tab which are been discussed uh, the if you have a marketing team if you have marketing reports you can share it in a teams channel with all the marketing folks and it's a very good feature of power bi as you know we need the data quickly to the uh, business users so that they can make decisions so this option makes it very easy and we have some assessments to understand how much you have uh, understood uh, from this particular course and how well you know power bi the basic things that are there study materials tips these things i i have added some of the good materials that i have uh, found uh, online and which i suggest you to have a look save it with yourself uh, when you are working in power bi or when you're doing some projects you can refer it uh, and uh, this is going to help you so few things i wanted to also add before uh, this particular thing this link uh, as you can see in this part my screen i am going to add more materials more uh, tips as in i get it so this is not the only uh, you can say courses or materials that are available i am going to add some other small videos uh, but this is the basic one that is there later on you may if you are good uh, and comfortable in this basic power bi making dashboards and you want to do advanced power bi then i will have a separate course which is under uh, 
uh, progress wherein you are going to talk about DAX, uh, M language, but here not much is covered, only basic functions, custom functions are covered, but advanced people who are going to the BI engineering path needs to do advanced uh, Power BI, which I have not covered in this particular course. This is course is mainly for the data professionals who want to be quickly analyze the data, transform the data and put the data in the dashboard for users to access it, right? And how you can connect different data sources and everything that are there. So you can see there are a lot of options of crea creating the data. If Excel, there is a direct connection, but you can get the data there is an option when you do more you get all the options that are here uh, wherein you can connect sql server is there just give some time yeah you can see there are so many options that are there that is a very good thing i forgot about azure as you know azure is a microsoft product and if a company is using azure then power bi is the more one of the only options that they will prefer mostly because of the integration and it's a microsoft suite and it's very quickly refreshed without much latency so i hope you go through the course uh, and uh, how it is structured is you go through the course do practice do rewatch the course do understand all the basic concepts and then i have a weekly uh, calls that are there uh, doubt clearing sessions for the whoever have doubts they can join in in the weekend and ask me and i will try to clear them so the the only thing that this i am doing this because uh, a recorded version after do, teaching so many students i know what is actually required and when you do this if you have any questions you can always reach out to me in my email and uh, you are uh, in, in the details uh, in the about me section you can always connect to me and join the doubt clearing sessions for you to get all your doubts cleared while in you will also be comfortable and learn power bi and start using it very soon so thank you and hope you buy the course and complete it and let me know if you have any questions in the comment below or in my email id thank you happy learning